the tripod method that I have uh, formulated for myself. So. Shut the f up, Yuri. Excuse me, it's the same thing. Ah! <laughs> Okay, exactly. Okay, so uh, what, are we, what are we doing here, Tremaine? So today we're going. I'm going to show you how I get into the elbow stand um, using my pole as my guiding light. Hi everyone, my name is Tremaine, and I have a great love for pole dancing and yoga. The elbow stand is a fundamental pose in both pole dancing and yoga, and it requires a lot of core strength. Even though it does not look particularly challenging, getting into it can be a bit of a struggle. When I first got started, I remember attempting to just launch into the move. I used brute strength and momentum in hope that it would eventually land on the elbow stand. However, this caused unnecessary strain on my neck, on my shoulders, and sometimes I even hurt myself because I hit myself against the pole. Ah! <laughs> also, it doesn't look particularly elegant or pretty. I was extremely frustrated because it was one of those most fundamental poses that I was determined to get down. So if this sounds like you, then this video is for you. My moves are definitely not perfect, but I found a way that works for me. So let me show you how I did it so you can go from looking like this to this. Look, that's an almost perfect elbow stand. So let me show you how I do it. First things first, you need to make sure that your pole is in a static position so that it doesn't spin. Especially if you're a beginner at this, a spinning pole might cause you to lose your balance and you might fall. So make sure the pole is in static and it's not spinning. Secondly, I make sure that I'm facing directly to the pole so that my pole and the body is in one line to ensure that I have the right alignment. Thirdly, I will start with having my body a torso length away uh, from the pole. So this is to ensure enough space for my body to move into the pole and into the headstand. Next, you want to create a bit of a triangle with your elbow and the pole. Have your hands wrapped around the pole, making sure that the elbows are below your shoulders. Now this forms a triangle for you to support uh, your head in your elbow stand. You're going to put your head just in front of the pole here, like so. Now, there is a sweet spot at the crown of your head where it feels quite comfortable to lean on for now. It's not the most natural position, but you shouldn't feel any pain or any strain. And if you do, please don't continue. From here, I'm going to tip up my hips towards the sky. A bit like when you do a downward dog position. It is extremely important to keep your hips up because what we're trying to do here in an elbow stand in this way is to reduce the distance between your hips and the pole. So once you're here, you start walking your feet towards your face and pretty soon you will have your back against the pole. Now, if you're not quite flexible yet, you can definitely bend your knees to walk towards your face like so. It is extremely important to keep your hips in the same position as before because one most common mistake is people then sink their hips down as they bend their knees. Now this will make it impossible for your hips to reach the pole. So hips up, bend your knees and keep walking towards your face until you are not able to do so. Now then you are ready to lift off. So another common mistake is to lift off with both feet, which as you can tell, is gonna be extremely challenging. Lift one foot up towards the pole and just use your other foot to tip off slightly. Now you will see that this foot in the air is gonna to touch the pole. This will be your guiding foot. So like so, and there you go. Now we'll stand. To dismount, do it the same way. Now the pole is there to support you, so you use that to make sure that you're coming down safely and slowly. And that was it. Now, before you get practicing, here are three little tips I have for you. If you can, it will be great to set yourself up in front of a mirror so you can actually see what your body is doing and therefore have a better understanding of what is happening. And this will also help guide your body into the pose. No matter what I'm doing, I always make sure that I'm safe. So in this instance, when I'm practicing my elbow stand, I have a yoga mat against my pole. You can also use cushions or pillows around you just in case. Or even better yet, if there's someone in the house to help you out to be your spotter, that will probably be best. Most importantly, have fun doing it. This is a process and it takes a lot of practice. Through this process, you actually better understand your body and what you need and therefore even help plug some of the gaps for you in your training. So have fun, be safe. Thank you for spending time with me. Please leave any comments or questions for me below and remember to subscribe. See you in the next video.